Welcome to PCCL. There will be two laws for intensities. One law when the components are in series and another when they are in parallel. In parallel, we will then be interested in node P by measuring the main current which arrives, and the branch currents. Throughout the activity, the main switch of the DC power supply will be on 4.5 volts. The two bulbs used are different. The L1 bulb has a nominal voltage of 3.5 volts. It would then be crossed by a current of 0.2 amperes. The L2 bulb is intended by its manufacturer to be supplied with 3.8 volts and would then be crossed by a current of 0.3 amps. When L1 is the only one connected to the power supply, it is crossed by a current of 0.25 amperes. It is a little higher than the nominal current. This is normal since the voltage of 4.5 volts is slightly higher than the nominal voltage which is only 3.5 volts. This measure is not requested in the activity but it can be interesting. We will come back to this later. When it is alone, L2 is crossed by a current of 0.34 amperes of intensity. It is indeed amps which are displayed since the range here is in amps. 10 amps. First activity. We will measure the intensity at three different places of this loop as requested in the instructions. So, if I measure the current at the output of the power supply, I must disconnect the wire which is there, and connect the black probe, or negative probe, so that the ammeter is part of the circuit, it is a component of the circuit, the same current flows through the ammeter as the bulbs, 0.19 amps. Between the two lamps. A current of 0.19 amps too. The minus sign is there because the common black cable is on the plus side. I did it on purpose. This gives a certain harmony, a certain aesthetic to the whole here because the threads do not cross. It doesn't matter at all. It just reminds us that current has a meaning and that the positive terminal and the good negative are different. Now let's measure I3. Placing the ammeter here. We find 0.19 amps. So the law of intensities, when the components are in series, is that. The same current flows through components connected in series. Second activity, when the lamps are in parallel, let's first measure the current in the main branch. I connect here. I find 0.59 amps. I now connect the ammeter to measure the current in the L1 lamp. Let's look at the diagram. So I would have to put the ammeter here between the node and the bulb. If you download the interactive simulation, you will find help here. The node is there, the bulb is here. It is not easy. What I suggest to you is to move the node on the ammeter and now connect the ammeter here. I find 0.25 amps. We measured the intensity of the current when L1 was alone and we found 0.25 amps. I said I would talk about it again. I will come back to it now. This is the 0.25 ampere. Next, measure the intensity of the current in the L2 lamp. So, it's about connecting so that you don't have the minus sign. Here I find 0.34 amps, which brings me to the conclusion. The main current is the sum of the branch currents, which can be said in another way. Sum of the currents entering a node is equal to the sum of those leaving. Have you checked that the sum of 0.34 and 0.25 is indeed 0.59? That's it for this video. Thank you.